What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Mario Bros. 64 in the last part. We uh, did the Koopa Cup. In this part, we have um, nine birdie badges left to collect in Toad Tournament and uh, eight stand um, two to collect in Koopa Cup. We're going to get these remaining birdie badges and I'll also utilize a trick that helps you get them. We're going to have to play these over again, but um, I'll cut to these holes being burnt. I will basically uh, de kind of demonstrate right here. So, um, the, bur the holes we have to birdie are um, holes 4, 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 18. So I'll see you guys when we get to these holes. So uh, I'll kind of I'll kind of show off the first hole once again. Like um, after that, I'll just cut till we get to the uh, hole we didn't birdie. In this case, it'll be hole four. Like I said in the last part, it doesn't matter what you place in this tournament when you're redoing it. It's just you have to get the remaining birdie badge. And also you'll have a trick that helps you get them if in case in the event we fail to get one of them. Let's see if we can pot this. Um That was a nice putt. Nice. We already birdied this hole, so um I'll see you guys in a second. All right, now on hole four, if we're since I already demonstrated, we didn't birdie this hole. So, um, if I remember correctly, in the original time we did this, we used the character at low distance. We were beaten on the weather, so um, yeah, we might be able to flat out eagle this hole since we have a character with better distance. But Yoshi definitely helps with getting the remaining birdie badges that you didn't get in the pr the prior times. Like, um, you could basically like, um, what am I trying to say? You could technically do it like, um, with the trick, um, I've already demonstrated what the trick is, but like, I'm only going to demonstrate if we fail to birdie a hole. Oh my god, oh my god, we almost albatross that. That would have been fucking insane. We actually got our first eagle, we, we almost got an albatross on that hole. But we're, I'm not going to cut yet because we are, we do have to birdie hole five, so, um, We'll, I'll just continue the commentary. I, I think next, this video will do the remaining birdie badges in Toad Highlands. Next video we'll do it in uh, Koopa Park because we still have a bit to work with. We still do it in like nine holes. So I guess this will be a shorter part. So this looks, um, thankfully we're not screwed over by the wind. And this should go on the green. And if I fail to make this putt, I will utilize a trick that you can use to make these burnt holes easier. Make these repeat attempts easier. Or maybe not. I'll see you guys at hole 7. Alright, now back at hole 7, we didn't um, quite get this the first time. We were, I think we were beaten on the weather. And we, the, it might have been because this is a long par 4. We, if we, we used Plum and she has the least distance in this game. I prefer to use the straight characters in this game versus the ones with long distance, and I'll explain more fully later. Okay, we're looking at like 11 mile per hour wind and like um, 99 force, so it's like a, a two iron should do it. Oh, too bad. Yeah, I will use, I'm not gonna utilize a uh, trick. If you fail to birdie a hole, just save your progress and just restart the hole and the the settings will be the same. So um Yeah, so like um I'm try I'm gonna try to avoid using this in normal play. I will only use the save trick in normal play as an absolute last resort. But yeah, this is a very great this is a great cheat you can use. The wind's going down a lot of us, so I like I'm treating the four iron as like guarantees it goes over the bunker. Nice on. Alright, so um this should be going in. Nice Alrighty, so I will see you guys now back at uh hole ten. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so back at hole, well, we're finishing hole 9, but hole 10 was one we didn't birdie, and, uh, 
I don't know why this this is a short part for our, we might have been beaten on the wire. I don't know. I don't exactly remember the past. I have to look at the past recording to find out, or I just figure out in the. I already figured. I might have to look back in the uh, past recording, but I've already edited the video. Yes, I do watch my own content before posting it, but like um, because like um, you could take the you could take a completely lazy approach to content creation, but I don't know. The harder you work, the better chances you have at getting noticed, I think. Like, the more effort you put in your content. Like, um, even though you might view these, like, as low-bar effort playthroughs, um, I'm gonna have to save. But, um, there's still a tiny bit of effort because I have to, like, um, I still want to make these as professional as possible. Yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna make the whole we're not gonna make the green one so uh nice shot. yeah so uh I think uh this should I think this should be good we undershot that I think we had a heart I think we have a harder putt than when we uh yeah Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna use the save trick again. If this takes too many attempts, I'll just cut to the successful attempt is the one you see in the video. Because uh, it, it is, even though the save trick is very useful, it's still frustrating having to play the same holes over and over and over again. And it's probably frustrating for you guys to watch me play the same holes over and over again. But, but uh, the save trick is also useful because like each hole is like a learning experience. And we got it way closer than the last time. And we still barely made that. Okay, what was the next hole we have to birdie? Okay, it's a uh, hole 13, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, a hole 13. We may be beaten by the weather, but uh... Actually, I think a forward should do it. I'm just not going to hit it all the way. And this, ladies and gentlemen, might be where the save trick comes in handy. Nice. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely going to be a use of the save trick. I still want to do a lot of the normal tournaments legit, but like, um... It looks like this is a, th this is a three wood. We still overshot that, but that's not as bad a putt as the first attempt. Each time you use the save trick, let's say it's a learning experience like that. We just birdied the hole. So uh, let me check, see what hole we have to birdie again. It's uh, hole, f oh wait, hole 14. It's hole 14 and 15, so I can just keep commentating. I think hole 15 is the last. So you don't even like, if, you, if hole 18 isn't the last hole you birdied, like, I don't, I don't like that shot, but, like, what, what am I trying to... I'm just going to use the save trick, but, um... If hole 18 isn't the last hole you birdie, you don't even have to finish the tournament. Or each time you do the tournament, you can just use the save trick and, like, birdie every hole. But I think that's a less fun way of playing this game. Like, it's, like, as great as the save trick is, it's not great to, like, constantly replay holes just to birdie them. That's why I only I only like to use the save trick in repeated attempts or as an absolute last resort. Nice on. Yeah, I'll I'm gonna use the save trick. I, I think I'm gonna make it like three attempts, and then like after that, the successful attempt will be the one you see in the video. Because as not as much as not fun it is to watch to play the th three holes the same holes over again. It's probably not fun to watch them. At least I don't think it is. And most people that uh, annoy my audience, my audience probably doesn't like that either. Nice 
Okay, okay so. that's not too bad. It's, a little, it's still going a little. It's still going a little to the right. So uh. All right, we still birdied it. So uh. I think hole 15 is the last one we have to birdie. Uh, it's hole 17, 18. So we still have to finish this. We have a score of minus 12 because we've gone out of the way to birdie every of these holes, all of these holes. I think in the off chance I lose a tournament, like one of the later ones, I'll just, the, the next attempt will just be getting the remaining birdie badges because by then you should be able to win the holes if you don't get it the first try. You should be able to birdie the holes and like, um, you should have a score like this. Even the last tournament, a score like this is enough to win. And yeah, that's a use of the save trick. Except that's a worse, that's actually a worse shot than when I uh, did this whole the first attempt. I, I went briefly looking at my recording and then like that happened. Okay, I think a two iron should do it. Yeah. I like that. That's close to the hole. So I'll see you guys in hole 17 because we have to birdies hole 17 and 18. So I'll see, I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, now at hole 17, um, let's see, uh, I think a four iron guarantees it goes over the bunker. Nice job. I probably made the same assumption last time. Yeah, that's, that's it. I don't think I can chip that in. That's definitely a use of the save trick. Might have to use a two iron, just not hit it all the way. We overshot that. <laughs> we overshot that putt. Yeah, uh. This will be the last attempt before I start cutting out footage, but I think a, I think a three iron should get us close to the hole. Like I said, each time you use the save trick, it's a learning experience. And we made that. We almost didn't make that. And finally, hole 18, we didn't birdie this one the first time. I mean, it's a power shot. This uppers the odds I'm making the green in two, especially since it's raining. We have like, we have plenty of these, like, um, looks like it's 30 yards off, so, uh, We overshot that. Nice on. We can make a miracle happen. Oh yeah, first try. So I'll see you guys next time on uh, Mario Golf 64. So uh, next time on Mario Golf 64, we're gonna get the remaining bur birdie badges and Koopa Cups. So I'll see you guys next time. Later folks, bye.